I'm, my name's Bruce Pipes and I've started travelling late in life. Um, I was living in a, a big house with a, a wife and family and uh, we decided to separate, me and my wife. I didn't know where I was going to live at the time, but uh, I'd started living in my wagon part-time and uh, I realised I could live in that, so I did. Well, my partner Manny met Bruce uh, when he had a puncture up the road. I think it's, you know, it's nice, isn't it, having older people around as well. I think it's good for the children. When you wake up, you've got to make sure your horses are all right. And then find enough sticks for the fire. Make sure you've got enough water for the cooking and for the horses. And then after that, really, it's having a meal and uh, getting ready for the move on. It's getting wood, dry wood that's the problem. But it's not a problem, really. I mean, it's the sort of thing you do, isn't it? It's, it's just the way of life. I think 17 miles is the longest run I do. I, I have travelled blind at the time. Tra by travelling blind, it means you don't know where you're going to stop. But I hate travelling blind. It's terrible. I've been all right till now. I'm old, obviously, but uh, I've been all right till now, this year, I've had two strokes, which has caused me a lot of trouble. I shan't go back in house. I want to live in the wagon as long as possible. It's a marvellous feeling, it really is. He seems much, you know, back to his old self, so I'm not so worried. I think if he, I think if he stays here for the winter, and then, um, you know, and he's all right all winter and then he goes off. I probably wouldn't worry about him too much. But yeah, a little bit worried about him. I wish I'd have known about this life from early days. I think it would have been a much better life. 